So I'm going to do a quick video to see if this product, the Anchor 310 magnetic ring, will actually help an iPhone with an OtterBox find the place to charge. It does work. I did a video with this that it will charge through the case. This is a Tozo W10 wireless charger. See, it, it, it'll it find the spot to charge, but if you're setting it down at night, you do still have to move it around a little bit to be able to get a charge. And it won't pick up with any magnetics. So, I mean, this says on Amazon that it, it doesn't work with the case, but if it can find it a little bit easier than this, then I think it's worth it. And this is a $10 piece. So um, let's open it up. It's got little guides on there. I guess it's for 12s. <laughs> I believe it said 13 on the uh, Amazon. And it shows that it, I don't know what that is, half 55 million customers, but it's for fast charging and 18 month warranty. The model is A2553 anchor.com, but I got this off Amazon. Check this out, what's in here? Fully clean the back of your case. I'm gonna put it in between, but it says it's not advised for ultra thick protective phone cases like OtterBox Defender, which this is, but I'm gonna try to put it in between these two layers. So I'm going to put it in between this layer. Oh, I'm going to try to. I'm going to put it in here. This actually picks up that way. So if we can boost that magnetic uh, ability a little bit, I think uh, we'd, we'd call this a good product. A quick start guide. Wipe the phone, put the guide on. I guess there's a sticky. I guess it's sticky. Yeah. Let's check it out. So we're gonna try a dry run before setting the ring on there permanently. It should be right around here. I don't know if the sticky part is getting it or the magnet, but it should be right around there. I can feel it a little bit, but it's not a super strong connection. It's right there. Let's put the case on, see how it looks. Because I could always take some of the foam out from the inside to flatten it out if I want to put it right on the foam. It's a little bumpy in the back, see? See how it works. If it gets the magnet through, then it should be okay. Okay, so that is stronger. Let's see if it charges. I don't know if it's gonna help it charge or not. If it goes on right away, then it auto aligns pretty good. So it's magnetic. It it is. It did work. Yeah, wow, it does. Hooks up immediately. Let's put it down like like we're uh going to bed. Oh. Perfect. It does work. So it does work through the case. It is a little thicker though. So what I might do 
is take out some of the foam inside and actually stick this on the foam and see if that works. What do you mean? But look at that. It hooks right on there and it works. It does. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So for 10 bucks, if you want to make your case work, and it's pretty strong. I mean, you know, you're not going to have any issues putting it on. It, it finds its own way now. See? So I would say as of right now, first thoughts, I like it. All right, now I'm also gonna try a little case mod. If I mount it on the back here, if I can scrape some of this out, if it'll lay a little flatter. So we'll try that. So let me use this. The 12 Pro Max is pretty close to the 13 Pro. So this will sit right about there. I want to keep this and just cut out this part. Hopefully, yeah, it does work both ways. So I would I would probably stick this to the case, not the phone, because I do switch cases every once in a while. So let's cut this out. Here we go, I'm gonna take the ring. It's right on. Let's see if we can get this case closed now with that little bit of foam scraped out. It still might not snap all the way, but we'll see. It's not really clicking down here. Looks like I can probably get the bottom and the top. Yeah, the middle section isn't really clipping that great. All right, so it's kind of holding. It should be good enough for when the outside part of the case goes on. So the case gets on there and it's definitely flatter than it was before with it right under the back. It was a huge bump. It's just a little bump. Let's see how it works. So 
Does it work the same? It is, it is a little bit stronger because it's picking it up. Not as strong as it was on the outside of the inner plastic, but it is picking it up, see? So let's see how easy, can we put it sideways? Yup, it does charge sideways. Let's see how it is when it's finding Come back here. Oh, yeah. You can find the spot pretty easy. And it's charging. Not strong enough to hold anything, but good enough to get your charge on. So, same thing. If you want to do a little bit of little bit of work, you probably could even cut through the case if you want, but I'm gonna leave it as is. So I just want to be able to charge a little easier at night. So this is a little update. While the charging worked, the back was too thick where it wouldn't hold on to some of my my um, phone holders, like in, in the cars. So um, it kept falling out. So I ended up doing the drilling, which I'll show you. I took a uh, drill bit that was able to cut through the case. And then I put this on. This is just like a magnet on there. And now the case is flat, perfectly flat. This goes on and this fits better now. And the magnet is super strong and it's flat. It charges really fast and it's good. It st still seems pretty protected, like with the otter box on. So I think drilling the back doesn't really do anything to mess up with the strength of dropping it like that. So still recommended for the cost. I think it's a good, good price. Just to show you the strength on it. See, it finds it by itself now. Still not gonna pick up from there, but look, I can move it. You know, I don't think it has to do with it not being stuck to the phone. It's just through the case, it's still gonna be pretty tough. See, pretty good. So until the next phone video, See you then.